Did I mention I have the greatest job in the world? I know you say that all the time. Thank you everybody for the recipes and the excuse for me to be here to share these wonderful viewers that are sharing these all time favorites. Okay, Nancy's with us from Camus. You have a dish you're gonna share with us. What is it you're gonna prepare? I am making roasted Brussels sprouts with chickpeas, lemon, and harissa. Okay, and I was reading that you actually are, you spend all your time in life in New England. I did, I grew up in New England, yes, until and about you, three years ago. Three years ago, what brought you out west? Uh, my husband's job. Okay. So we were up for an adventure and here we are. And this all-time favorite recipe you're gonna share with us on TV, what was the goal? What was the idea here? So my husband and I try to fit as many uh, vegetarian, vegan dishes into our week as possible, just trying to get more healthy, um, healthy eating into our repertoire. And this dish is actually inspired by a dish that I had at a restaurant in uh, Portland. Okay. Yeah. So this is, again, more reason with the cookbooks we offer, with the 400 recipes, something for everybody in the family. Okay, Nancy's proof of that. You're ready to go back and I'm ready. explore and have fun? I am. All right. Yeah. Let's all watch, everybody. Nancy, I'm so excited. I heard you talking to Mark. Tell us about this vegetarian dish. This is great. So this is um, a dish that I make a lot at home. It's really uh -huh. versatile uh, and it's definitely a family favorite. So Perfect. happy to share it. Sounds good. It smells great. It's cooking yes. and it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, do tell. What do we do? Okay, so we start with the, uh, preparing the Brussels sprouts. Um, when I had this dish in Portland, the Brussels sprouts were these tiny, beautiful little sprouts. They're hard to find in most stores. Uh -huh. So I go with, you know, just your standard Brussels sprout. Uh -huh. um, you're going to want to clean them off. So and that's clean just, them. Yep, just cut off the, um, the stem. The stem in here. Not a lot. Don't go far up the sprout. Okay. Otherwise, it'll start to, it'll start to unravel in front of your eyes. Apart. Right, right. <laughs> and then you're just going to cut it in half lengthwise Perfect. so really simple and these um my some recommendation is always so it's just really simple just kind of some of these are yeah get a little wilty off, so you yeah, can pop exactly. them off okay exactly all right super easy and um these i do recommend if you can get brussels sprouts mm -hmm. in bulk to buy them that way that way you can get oh, them as uniform in size right, as right. possible the little net bags yes exactly so that's the best way that you can you can hand pick them to your liking cool. so that's my recommendation yeah. there okay i'll take that so to that we add chickpeas just a can of chickpeas, really simple. And you have this cool technique for... It is my secret. So one of my favorite appetizers, okay, one of my favorite snacks at home is roasted, just roasted chickpeas. Oh, I and I like those. them to be really crispy. Uh -huh. And you can put whatever spice you like on them, uh -huh. you know, curry or whatever. Um, but I like them to get really crispy and I don't want to have to deep fry them because it's not Ooh. very healthy. Right. So I put them out onto a dish towel uh -huh. and I give them a good dry. Okay, so I just kind of fold them over and I kind of roll them around in the dish towel so I'm getting them as dry as possible. Be gentle because they're uh -huh. cooked. So right. um, just kind of roll them around. Take a look and like see how the shine is gone. Oh, okay. They're not, they're, they're, all the moisture is kind of removed. And then I just go ahead. And those, yeah. Slip them so right in. So if you're going to roast them just to nibble on them, yes. you just toss them with oil and spices yep, oil and, and onto spices, a, whatever you like. Same way you're doing it here. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, super right. easy. So. And to that, we are adding um, a bunch of chopped green olives. And these Beautiful. are just a Spanish olive. You want to use, oh. I kind of pulled these out so you could see, a really, really big olive. Oh, we could serve these with yeah. our martini. Exactly. They're martini Perfect. olives, actually. So uh, you can have a little martini on the side. Yeah, um, I think that's appropriate. <laughs> yes. So nice big olives. I cut them into quarters. You don't want to cut them too small because you want them to have presence in the dish. So, so that you get that nice yeah, salty like briny, bite. Salty. Yep. Yeah, and it's nice because you'll eat. You'll be eating it and you'll get a couple of bites and then all of a sudden you'll get an olive and it's kind of a nice oh, surprise. Because they're green so, and they're hidden. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're going to toss those in. And then what are the, are these the? So these are pimentos. So, and so essentially the same thing that's yes, in the olive, exactly. right? Yes, okay. exactly. So you can buy the olives with or without pimentos. These happen to have them. Uh -huh. um, I wouldn't buy olives with any garlic or anything. Okay. Nothing but pimento stuffed in them. Okay. And then some more chopped pimento. Okay. Toss that right in. And then I just give it a quick toss and then I make a really, really, really simple dressing. Um, that is, that, that looks great kind like of, that. It, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of, I love, the I love beautiful food. The Brussels sprouts raw are a little bit rough. A though. little bit much, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. But there's nothing better than pretty food. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zest a lemon. Okay. Because uh, we're going to put that, we're going to dress it afterward with some fresh zested lemon and some herbs and some spices. So you want to zest it before you juice it, just because it makes it a little easier. If you forget, which I do at home, right? Um, you can 
zest so it up in, to juice it. So nice. that goes in after it cooks. Right, and you're doing a great job not getting any of the Try whites. not to get any of the yeah. pith, so that's, right. you know, one of those secrets. It's funny, one of the things um, I've learned from years of watching cooking shows on <laughs> channels like this um, is to not, not zest down to the pith. Uh -huh. The other thing I love, um, and I think a lot of home cooks don't necessarily do, mm -hmm is getting all of their ingredients out ahead of time like we've done here. Well, mise en place. It's, yes, mise en thank place. you, yes. yes. It's one of those things I would say, oh. Wow. <laughs> it's a juicy lemon. <laughs> Yeah. We talk about that in our tip <laughs> segment. One of, one of the cooks in the tip segments talked about just having everything light, laid out, having yeah, it all ready. Yeah, so, it keeps things so neat and tidy. And you know what? why I love it? Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I was a little bit of a disaster in the kitchen. I'd be running around, ripping drawers open, looking for spices and uh -huh. tools. And um, So I decided I'd tr experiment with this, doing it ahead of time. And it, it pretty much mistakes proof your cooking. Because if you have something it's, sitting here, if you've done all your oh, cooking, good idea. And you yeah, said, yeah, yeah. why are these onions here? Because you mm -hmm. forgot them. Right. So. Right. A little Hopefully mistake you proofing. Them. Right. Yeah. A little bit of extra virgin olive okay. oil. Okay. And here's your whisk. Thank you. So, is this, so then do they get dressed again afterwards? Um, no, they don't. This is it. They're nope. done. Nope. Wow. They're pretty much done. A little bit cool. of salt. And, this is beautiful. Um, a little bit of harissa. So harissa is, this is a spice blend. It's native to North Africa. Mm -hmm. um, it usually comes in paste form, which you probably know. I'm just chatting about that. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's um, based in, it's roasted red peppers, various spicy peppers, mm -hmm. cumin, coriander, caraway, mint. Right. Um, and it's, it's just a really um, just complex kind of spicy. Lovely. Yeah. It's really, it smells delicious when it's cooking. Mm -hmm. um, so we toss that in. And I love how pretty it makes the dressing too. It makes for a really harissa on steaks before you grill oh, them is good. Yum. I love it on eggs. Oh, it's really the right. paste version the paste, of it. The right. paste, yeah. right? On hard-boiled eggs. Yeah, so good. Or even scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. which is really yummy. So just give it a good whisk. Okay. And then we're going to into the bowl. Into the bowl. And then onto the pan. And then onto the pan, yeah. Okay. And we're actually going to keep this bowl. We're not going to get rid of it because once this is all cooked, we're going to toss it again with the lemon peel and a few herbs. Oh. And since there's dressing in oh, here, nice. residual dressing. Okay. We're just, so we're going to use that. Okay. I'm we'll sneak chickpea one of these. overboard. <laughs> mm, delicious. So you just want to throw the that harissa in the with the chickpeas so toasted good, right? with our martini. Yes, exactly. We're deconstructing now you're your talking. Yeah, so Perfect. there you go. So you okay. want to make sure you use a nice big um, pan because you okay. want to make sure everybody gets their own space. Nobody's fighting for space because then it's going to get nice and toasty brown that way. Okay, so this should caramelize. Okay. Yes, yes. Got it. Yeah, and you'll toss it a couple of times while it's cooking just to make sure it gets caramelized pretty evenly. All right, and these are so beautiful. Look so, at those. Aren't wow. They pretty? Yeah, so okay. pretty. And then while it's cooking, you're going to chop up some herbs and it's just a little bit of mint and um, some fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. Can I put this back in the bowl for you? Absolutely, that would okay. be great. Wow, these look great. Mostly overboard here. There we go. And just gonna give a kind of a rough chop. You don't want to. You don't want to get the herbs oh, lost. Great. In the mix. And do and I marinade. see parsley in there? Yep. Yep, some so, par lace par parsley and some mint. Doesn't that smell so good? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and so, so that's good. it's almost like a salad on the. Kind of, yeah, cool. yeah. It's like a warm salad. And one of the things that's great about this is um, okay. you can serve it hot, obviously, right out of the oven as we're doing today. But it's also great, great at room temperature. Ah, so you make extra and then. Oh yeah, eat it for lunch. Right. Or, yeah. Got yeah. it. It's also great. I like to bring it to picnics and potlucks because Ooh. it can sit out for a couple of hours because can... there's nothing in there right. to go bad. Right. So it's a great and people Perfect. love it because it's so different. All right. So we're going to toss, toss that in. and go. And a, yeah, all right. Lemon. I'm ready to taste that. And then do you season it up at all? I do if it needs it. Typically it doesn't because doesn't look like um, it. yeah, the salt in the the salt in the olives and the harissa and so you it usually doesn't. You want to hook us up with a beautiful Sure. Mm, wow. Very good. Roasty toasty. Yeah, the chickpeas get kind of nutty because they get so browned by by taking the moisture off them. That's amazing. So delicious. Go. Great. Here you go. That is so good. Nancy, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having sharing. me. It was fun. I'm happy yeah, to. Great. I have to hope you got to come it. back. Yes, I would love I'm gonna to. I'm going to come to your barbecues. Yes, I would love that. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay.